Here we have a Roomba 530S, and what I'm going to do is modify it so that I can access the programming port at any time without removing this top shielding. Normally it's a bit of a pain to get it off. I've got it pre-popped, so it comes right off. And you'll see right here I've put a piece of tape over the port. And what this can allow me to do is line it up with the, the top side and know exactly where to drill and how big to drill the hole. Since I wanted to make sure that I line up this hole perfectly, I applied a few pieces of tape right here, and then I put back down the original piece and just drew on a few random lines where they overlap. And this will just help me make sure I line it up at the perfect angle where it's back on the top piece. I'm going to peel this piece off again without peeling off these two pieces here. These you didn't really need, but I didn't want to leave permanent marks on my Roomba just because that part will be visible. Now I can pop on the top piece again. Push it down all the way just to make sure it's perfectly lined up. Now just match these threads. When I say threads, I mean the, the lines here. Once everything's lined up, you can remove the tape on the left side. Make sure this stays perfectly in place. And I've pre-scored that with an X-Acto knife. Alright, there we have our mask for the charging port. It's just a matter of popping this top piece off again and drilling out this hole. Now what I did was I just took my various spade bits here and I lined them up. Uh, the half inch one seems to be the perfect size. So I'm just going to center that out and drill away. Alright, so I set it over top of a uh, breadboard here. And uh, the reason why I did that is because the legs stick out just a little bit. So this fits under there perfectly so I'm not crushing the legs. And I can get it flush against the board here. And if I drill through a bit extra, I'm not going to destroy my counter. So here we go. Alright, at this point I'm just going to peel off all this tape here and uh, see how it turned out. Not bad. All right, let's see how I did. As you can see, the hole's pretty much perfect there. Now that I've got the hole all drilled out and cleaned out with some uh, sandpaper and a file, I've got a nice smooth edge here so I can run my finger over it and I won't cut it. Uh, I should have plenty of clearance now to plug in this cable, so I'm just going to plug that in and make sure it fits properly. So there you go, the light has come on here which means I've got power on the 5 volt rail and uh, all I have to do is plug in the, this end here into my USB port and I can start controlling this.